Happy Easter from Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we review Easter Casket. It's gonna be a bad hair day. Written, directed, and edited by Dustin Mills, starring Aaron R. Ryan, Josh Eel, Janet J., Jason Crow, and Haley J. Madison. Easter Casket is about the Easter Bunny, who is actually the Antichrist, who's come back to kill Christianity for wanting to get rid of the Easter holiday. The Holy Knight, Asher, is sent by the Mega Pope to kill the Easter Bunny. Before we get into things, I want to thank our sadistic patrons over on Patreon who voted for us to review this for Easter. Thanks, guys. Now, what do we like? I liked Peter Cottontail. I thought the rabbit looked hilarious. I thought Dustin Mills did a great job voicing the rabbit. Demon? <laughs> I really hate that white. I couldn't imagine any other voice than this creepy, sadistic rabbit voice. He kind of looked like a pug that's just done a shit ton of acid. He was creepy. His little cackle of a laugh. <laughs> I wouldn't want to wake up on Easter Sunday to that. I want more of like a Greg the Bunny. That's like the calmer of the puppet bunnies. Yeah, I'd prefer that. Like just smoke a joint and eat some eggs in the morning. That's it. <laughs> Not get fucked by an Easter Bunny and shit out some eggs. Yeah. Dustin Mills is an interesting filmmaker. He's got a lot of ambition. He thinks way outside of the box when it comes to things. And this is the first one we've actually reviewed of his. And I was impressed with how many different things he tried to jam into the story. I mean, yeah, this is also a dislike too, but we'll get to that later. At first glance, you're gonna think, oh, look at all this terrible CGI shit. But there are some funny sequences, especially with some like chicks that hatch out of a wall that is almost straight out of an anime and it's all kind of like practical effects mixed with CG, mixed with a bunch of compositing. I was impressed with the chicks. There was definitely no shortage of chicks in this movie, especially Erin R. Ryan. I was caught off guard when she went topless. This entire movie did not expect her to have certain assets. The fact that this film is about the Easter Bunny bunnies are in springtime and you do it like rabbits. They just wanted like everyone to have sex. And my favorite sex scene is Haley Madison, just because I thought she was hilarious. Oh, it feels so good. I think that was the best scene in this entire movie. I completely agree. This may be the first time that Haley Madison had sex with a different species on camera, but she actually does it again in Carousel. A review of that's coming soon. I don't know which one I liked more. Now let's move on to our dislikes. There's a lot going on in this film, and it can get pretty confusing at times. A lot of this has to do with how it's written, but also how it's edited, because this film is confusing. It's basically like one-off conversations or one-off set pieces, almost always in a hotel room, of two people talking about something. It's hard to tie in who knows who when all of these characters don't really interact with each other. All these characters are doing something, but nothing is really tying them into why they're all in the same place, or even if they know each other. I think it caught me off guard because I expected more. From, like, a lot of people have recommended Dustin Mills in the comments. I don't know. I didn't like how everything was shot. Everything was, like, there was a lot of close-up shots. Conversations were edited awkwardly. The lighting wasn't very good. It's just basically, like, one pot light that's lighting a whole scene. And from a technical aspect, the worst part was probably the audio. It's the fuzzy doombringer. The fluffy harbinger of the apocalypse. The Easter Bunny is the goddamn... Antichrist! <laughs> it seemed like everything was recorded at like a really low level and then they tried to boost it in post and so it's just almost all static. And that kind of ties in with like the main character, Asher, who's very soft-spoken. So all of his scenes sound way off of the person he's talking to. There's a good friend of mine. A soldier as well. A priest like you? No. All the stuff that they did in post when they were recording the audio afterwards, they failed to put in room tone. What do you think is going to happen next? I'm going to cut his head off. So you're missing the like ambiance and it's just a clean cut back and forth that it's really distracting. I think Asher was a weak choice. 
he didn't sell the character at all. I thought he's just too monotone. He didn't show much emotion. I didn't care about him at all. May the Lord who frees you from sin, save you, and raise you up. The only time I slightly cared about him was when he was about to do it. Because I'm like, is he actually gonna get to bang this chick? And I'm pretty certain he did. This is a like, but it's also a dislike. Uh, there's a lot of like, nude ladies dancing for like absolutely zero reason. And while I do enjoy that, it's weird when it's mixed into the middle of a movie and somebody dances for three and a half minutes and you're just like, wait, why is she dancing? Now it's time for our final thoughts and ratings. I was not a fan of this movie, if you couldn't tell. I mean, I know that there's an audience for it. It's not me. I didn't like the humor. There's a lot of technical issues, but I mean, there's a little bit of leeway on that because it is an indie film. But I think the casting of the main guy was way off. He wasn't enjoyable. He wasn't a likable character. I did like Aubrey's character. Good for you. But like, because all of her scenes are with him, I didn't really care about their relationship. There's just a lot of stuff off about this movie and I couldn't recommend it. There is a lot of nudity and the compositing was pretty solid. However, there was a lot of digital blood, but if that's your thing. Anyway, I'm gonna give this one Mr. Parker cameo out of five. We found it inside of her. Her stomach? Close. It was in her ass. As a fan of puppet movies and finding out that Dustin Mills is a puppet specialist, I was kind of excited for Easter Casket. You know what? He didn't disappoint me in the sense of providing me an entertaining puppet killer because I enjoyed Peter Cottontail. I thought he looked cool, I thought he sounded cool, and he had some wit to him. Which the rest of the film, on the other hand, I did not so much enjoy. <laughs> you said that so awkwardly. I know. The story was just all over the place, the characters were not that likable, and you didn't get a lot of cool deaths that you would hope for. So with that being said, I'm gonna give this film one and a half sexy dances out of five. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video and comment below with your thoughts on this film or any Dustin Mills film. I'm curious to know how you feel about this. And if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, stay updated with everything Bloodbath and beyond.